Hey guys, what's up? It's Calvin here at GOA Studios, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a clean version of the song. You're going to need two things. You're going to need the original version of the song, and you're going to need the instrumental. Um, I don't care how you get the instrumental, just make it as close to the background music as you can of the song. So, I'm going to be using Eminem's version of Not Afraid um, as my little show. And I will show you guys how to make his song clean. So we're gonna go ahead. Um, as you see, um, if we zoom in here, this starts way after this. So we're gonna go ahead and just like chop all that off, and chop. Oh wait, hold up, chop all that off. And then we're gonna mute this and find out where the background music starts here, and then put that to there. So it seems like it's like right there, right there is where it's at. So let's hear it. Now we need to turn this way down. So let's put it about eight. Okay, let's go ahead and de amplify it a little bit. If you need to do that, most of the time you do need to do that a little bit. Let's uh, de amplify it just a little bit more. About 2.7 more. Now to make sure they're still on match, we're going to go out into the parts of the song. Now as you see, they may look a little bit off. So we're going to go ahead and go to the, where the beats are actually going. Now they are off. So we're going to go ahead and match them up. You can see that these beats are off, so they're going after those ones are going. So we're going to go ahead and move them up so they'll sound exactly on beat now they're on beat so after you've got the songs totally on beat now you can go ahead and start editing your actual song so we're gonna go ahead and go find a curse word and I'll show you how to edit that out now as you've seen he said the D word I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit you don't really have to it's up to the person you're gonna go click and find where the D word's at. Zoom in a little, a little bit more. So after you have it like that, you just drag it over the whole curse word and make sure you can hear the whole thing. Now make sure you don't wanna be able to hear the next word. So just make sure it's the whole curse word and nothing else. As you can, you can hear W in my background, so. And then, okay, now I have it single last, and go ahead and go to generate and click silence. And after you have that, zoom out just a little bit, what I'm doing. And then play the song a little bit farther back. Do it. I don't give a what you think. Now, as so you see, it sounded pretty good. And the whole reason you have the instrumental is so you'll be able to have background music going while the cursor is being blanked out. And that's a pretty good thing to have. Real quick, I'm going to mute my stuff. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, so you can hear the background music. And basically, you're just going to go through and just, let's say, let's find another curse word. He said the S word, so we're going to find the S word. So we're gonna edit that out and then just play it and see how it sounds. And you just basically do that for all the car songs on the whole entire song, and you have a clean version of the song that you've made yourself. Now, like a song like this, it can take some time, it could take you anywhere from five minutes to sometimes even two hours if you want to be fully precise. Now, if you're DJing like a, maybe a school, um, hearing from my profession because I am an actual DJ, um, if you're DJing at a school, some of the times the school does not like to hear bad lyrics so you can actually edit out the bad parts of the lyrics where it's talking about like drugs and stuff like that too. Now, if the song talks about way too much of that kind of stuff, just don't use the song. 
But um, that's about it. I hope you guys like my tutorial on how to make a clean version of the song. Um, I will see you guys later. Peace.